love it in and I'll make you feel like you on the cloud and you can sit still when we on the floor and I'm on the force and you use the force there's no problem hi guys so welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing something a little different I've got a bunch of things that I ordered off of Amazon to update my shower since I moved in I really haven't done anything to update that room of the house so I'm slowly moving throughout the house to get things where I kind of want them to be. I'll link everything in the description for all the products that I end up using. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this every Monday. So if you're interested in watching how I do this, then just stay tuned. So here we go. First things first, I needed to empty out the shower and take out all of the things that I've been putting on the floor this entire time. Then I took this spray, which is amazing. It's the OxyClean uh, Foaming Bathroom Cleaner. I use this on literally everything. And what I like about it is that when you spray it, it goes on blue. And when it turns white, that's how you know that it's ready for you to wipe down. So I sprayed the entire shower, which desperately needed it. And this is so satisfying to me. If you're a clean freak like I am, this is just the best part. So what I wanted to do was just get a clean slate before I put all of the new products in here and organize the rest of my things. Then after everything had been cleared off, I went back with a clean towel and just dried everything down to make it look nice and ready to move. So here we are. <laughs> As you can see, this was probably the hardest part of the entire thing. I did not realize that I'm 5'9". And not only could I not reach where I wanted this rod to go, but it kept falling apart on me as I was moving it up. But I got some help and eventually we were able to get it exactly where I wanted it. So because I wanted my room to look bigger and for the shower to just seem um, more spacious, I opted for an extra long shower curtain. This is the Dynamine extra long shower curtain. It's 96 inches long by 72. I think that average shower curtain is, I want to say 70 by 72 or 72 by 72, somewhere around that range. And for the height that I placed this rod at, I needed 96 inches minimum to get it to go um, all the way to the floor. So this shower curtain actually came with 12 hooks of its own, but they were plastic and pretty cheap, which I found to be really odd because the shower curtain itself was heavy duty and thick and actually a great quality. It was almost like a hotel quality. So that was kind of weird. I actually ended up switching my old hooks that I had on my old shower curtain and just use them for this one. So it worked out, but I would suggest that you get hooks um, for your new one and don't use the plastic ones that come with the shower curtain online. Fortunately, I was just tall enough to reach this rod and was able to hook all of these on. I will say that I did not get a longer shower curtain liner, um, which I am definitely regretting right now. I don't know why I didn't think to pick one up, but obviously that's what I'll be doing um, in the next few days. So here's the shower head that I ended up picking out. This shower head has, I want to say, five or six functions. I got it from Target. It was literally maybe $35. I know it wasn't more than $40. Um, and it's a game changer. If I could say what the most important change that I made to this shower was, it would be this shower head. It just elevates the entire look. It's a better experience. The old shower head was, as you could see, just <laughs> generic whatever came with the apartment and putting this together uh, really changed the whole atmosphere this is also like a game changer because I don't always want to get my hair wet and this allows me to take off the shower head and wash myself without having to <laughs> 
wash everything, which was kind of a problem before. I'd have to do like the shower cap or whatever, but this is um, a lot easier, I would say. Also, I have a dog, so it'll be easier to wash him. And my son, I can wash him and be able to pull the faucet all the way down. So it's a win-win for me. Now, these are the organizers that I wanted to put on the wall. So important because before, as you saw, all of my stuff was on the floor and it'd been that way for a while. I'd bought um, some plastic ones that had the suction cups. I bought those from Target or Walmart and they didn't last, uh, I mean, like maybe a week. They would always fall down or be sideways or they couldn't handle the heavy weight of my shampoo or conditioner and it was just a disaster. I would be in the shower, things would be falling on me or I'd be in the bedroom and all of a sudden hear this loud crash and freak out. So I knew that I needed something more durable that could stand the things that I put in it that wouldn't, um, wouldn't come off and these were perfect. These adhesives are gorilla strength strong in my opinion. When I bought them from Amazon, it said that they'd been tested and could stand up to 40 pounds, which is incredible in contrast to what I had before. I got the set that comes in black. I'm not sure if there were other colors than that. Um, they were five in a pack for like 15 or $20, which was crazy, was such a good sale. Um, they come with two large ones, which you see here, and then two soap dispensers, and then another one that's like a soap dispenser, but a little taller, uh, that you could put your toothbrush in if you brush your teeth in the shower. Um, I don't personally, but that's always an option. I ended up only putting one of the soap dispensers up. That's all that I really needed. I might add more later, I might not. It just depends on if I get more product. But overall, I think even this small change really transformed the space. I put them on the back wall, but you could really place them wherever you wanted. The next thing that I got to upgrade the space was this bath pillow. I'm not sure if everyone has the store called At Home, but it's amazing and everything is so reasonably priced. They had a couple different um, styles of bath pillows. I picked this one and I think it came in white and black. One of the best things is when you're almost all the way done and you're just filling in the space and that's exactly what I'm doing right here. I wanted to buy all new almost everything just because this is a fresh start and I might as well start fresh with everything else. This is the Black African Soap Shea Moisture brand. Uh, I love this. It just cleans so much better. It's more natural and it's black, which everyone knows is my favorite color and aesthetically is just so much more pleasing. I think people sleep on this new native brand. They have shampoos, conditioners, body soaps, and they're all more of like a masculine uh, smell, which I gravitate to much more than like feminine products. Now, this is the eucalyptus plant that I'm sure you've heard about. It is supposed to go in the shower to help release the plant's incredible healing properties to do things like reduce stress, ease congestion, soothe a cough, and more. Mine is actually plastic because I'm allergic to literally everything, but I love the aesthetic of it, and the real ones last anywhere between two to three weeks. I also wanted to get a tub tray so that when I've had a long day and I want to take like a hot bath or something, I could relax, watch my iPad, read a book. This is actually the expandable bath caddy tray. It's bamboo, it comes in black, it also comes in a natural color. This is just such a nice upgrade and it only cost me $30 off of Amazon. So I'll leave that link below too so you guys can find it as well. You really wouldn't think that just a few changes to your shower would make the experience so much more enjoyable, but it really does. From the plants, to the bathtub tray, to the bath pillow, to the higher curtain and curtain rod, and then down to these organizers on the wall, the space just seems so much more 
uh, relaxing and interesting and welcoming and every shower that I've had since I put this together has felt like I'm just a bad bee. <laughs> So I hope that you guys like this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos just like this every Monday. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Don't forget the details are in the description so that you guys can find all of the products that I used. And I'll see you next time. Bye.